Welcome to Ghost Stories, hosted by Local Med, where we share stories of some of the remarkable friends in dentistry we've had the opportunity to meet, partner with, and serve. Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa Vitaliano and I am Local Med Strategic Partnership Manager and we're here doing another episode of Ghost Stories, but this one's a little bit different because Ghost is actually not on my side this time, it's actually with our good friend Michael Arias. Hi, how are you? What's up, guys? Ghost is chilling with me. He said, you know what? I want to be here for right now. He needs time. This is time off, I guess. I don't know what we're doing. We're watching The Office every day, and that's it, really, pretty much. He's yeah. got some fun adventures. I know he was actually with you for some time in Europe, which yeah. I'm jealous of. How was Europe? Europe was amazing. Um, let me let Ghost... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> No, yeah, Europe was amazing. It was really interesting. It's really good to, for me, in my opinion, I think it's really good to kind of, uh, and you know, you travel a lot too. Yes. But I mean, when it's not related to work, I feel like it's good to just step back and just be like in your own creative space. You know what I mean? And then your creativity starts to get hunger. And then that's when, boom, you go back to, at least that's what I do. Right, boom, yeah. you go back to make new projects, new work, and things like that. So I like it. Um so you're kind of known for your ground marketing. So do yeah. you want to explain to us a little bit of just what exactly is ground marketing? Because I don't know if even a lot of dentists, you know, they're, they're so focused on digital marketing. But I think ground marketing uh, is something that is kind of forgotten, especially in this day and age. So if you can tell us a little bit about that and just the benefits of ground marketing. Yeah, definitely. I mean, digital marketing, you still, it's essential now. Like, it's not like, hey, I'm going to maybe do it. No, you kind of have to do it, right? Right. But ground marketing, what that is, it's, Essentially, it's a more sophisticated way of guerrilla marketing. So say, for example, you are like, okay, I'm in my practice and you want to get out there in the community more. But you say like, okay, there's a Starbucks next to me. There's a hotel behind me. Maybe there's a store in front of me and then another apartment complex. So you're always wondering like, how can I get these residents to come in? How can I get the Starbucks employees to come in? From that one corporation or business, how can I get those employees to come in? Right. You never really see a booth set up outside of Starbucks and people saying like, hey, come on in. Right. But there's there's te there's techniques, strategies and scripts and so many tactics that you can use in order for you to get in, get the employees to come, get the residents to come without saying like, OK, I'm going to get a bunch of mailers or I'm going to get a bunch of like waste a lot of money. Right? right. It really just involves more of you, like a ground marketer, somebody in your employee or somebody in your office who's an employee, maybe a part timer. They can just go in and market, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And get those employees to come in in real time. So like for example, let's just let's just say the apartment complex, right? You go in, maybe you decide to participate in their new moving packets. So you give them a little bit of flyers, but then you're like, hey, look, um, do you guys have any events coming up? Almost all apartments have events for their residents, right? Whether it's like, hey, wine and cheese day or insurance day or whatever, right? Senior right. homes, they have a bunch of events. So you're like, yeah. So you come back whenever you have the event, you do maybe a presentation or whatever, or maybe you just participate, give some freebies out. And then people, you'd be so surprised, Vanessa, how many people are looking for you, like the dentist, just as much as you're looking for them. Like they just don't have the time or maybe right. they, they forgot or maybe they were looking you up at work during the lunch break, but then they, oh, got to go back to work, right? right? So many times they forget or maybe they just, they're, they're not aware of their health it, their oral health issue until they see you then they're like you know what i've always had sensitivity or my tooth has always hurt is that normal then they ask you and then that's when you schedule them right there yeah. and there it's super easy like with local med you can get an ipad and then just boop, boop. when can i when do you want to come on in and then you schedule them so that's ground marketing like scheduling people immediately through through businesses through ways in the community so it's basically you going out in the community all the time everywhere you know what I mean there's no there's nothing off limits with ground marketing you go everywhere yeah so basically that's what ground marketing is. <laughs> and then so for when it comes to ground marketing if it's whether it's the doctor or someone who works at the office is the one who's going out there do you have any tips or even just like who from the office is the best person to go to have represent the office or does it not matter is it just more of they need to be outgoing, have a personality offer to approach people. It, who do you want to send from your office? When it's a startup and you're barely starting off, it's good for the doctor to go. 
Okay. Um, however, eventually the doctor is going to get busy, right, with right. what they do best, which is dentistry, right? They're going to get busy with patients. So then eventually you either get maybe your part-timer, your front office, somebody like you said, they have to be bubbly, outgoing, treat your business like their business, or yeah, so forth. And so they have to be a go-getter. And um, so basically what we have, some of our students or ground marketers, our clients, what they do is they either hire someone who is just like that, bubbly, a go-getter, outgoing, and they make them go ground market, right, through our coaching program or whatever. And basically their only job is literally to get new patients. That's it. Okay. That person. So they can either do that or maybe there's a front uh, desk part-time. They, they're bubbly, outgoing, and everything. And they have them go do the ground marketing too. Um, as well, but like I said, it's it's much more than just all right. Ground marketing, I got it. Here's gift baskets. Let's go to the this business and give them gift baskets, and we hope they're gonna come. That's not that's not a strategy. We can't really make money off of hope, right? Like right. new kids can't really come in. You're like, I hope I. So basically, what you want to do is teach them all these tactics, teach them the strategy, the scripts, and they're always ongoing. They're always learning. There's always more. Um, so that's why if a dentist does it, it's going to be really busy for them. You yes. know what I mean? Because you'll be having events, three, four events a week. On top of that, you're calling leads that you get from the events. And then you're calling more businesses to be a part of their, uh, just to build rapport, to be a part of their programs. Yeah. So it would be a lot for a dentist if they just did it on their own. But that's why I say like at the beginning, a dentist can do it here and there. And then eventually they would have to like, you know, delegate that to somebody. Right. So, so they won't have to worry about it. But that's a really good point, though, even with the basket, for example, because I feel like a lot of people, what they'll do is like, well, I'll just, you know, put together a little package and I'll send it their way. And then, like you said, and just sit by the phone and hope they call and they're most likely yeah. not. Um, and so it's having more of that engagement and actually interacting uh, is going to take it much farther with the ground marketing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Um, so when it comes to which businesses and what to target, I know you mentioned like an apartment complex, for example, a retirement home. Are there certain businesses that are better target versus others that, you know, just show more success? Uh, it depends, really. Um, so like I said, nothing is off limits. So you can literally go anywhere, right? Um, but just because maybe you go once and it doesn't work doesn't mean that's the end game right there. Okay. You have to figure out a different script. For example, I'm going to give you an example of Costco, right? Like nowadays Costco, before Costco used to let people go in all the time. Um, and I don't know if everybody's familiar with Costco, but it's like a huge warehouse store, right? <laughs> so um, before we would be able to go into Costco and do lunch and learns for the employees, then eventually they said, no, no, you can't, right? So then we were trying to figure out different ways how to get in there. And all it really took was just, we did another event at another location, and there was a Costco booth there. So we asked, the, we got really cool with the Costco lady, and we're like, hey, um, how do we get into Costco? She's yeah. like, oh, just say you're a part of the memberships program, or you want to be a part of the member. So it's little things like that. Like, so now we call Costco, hey, we would like to be part of the memberships program. And they're like, okay, yeah, cool. Um, come on by, let's see what you got. And then that's it. Instead of just saying, like, hi, we would want to market to your employees, right? There, there's... There's so many ways um, you can go into businesses, but we just don't know the proper terminology sometimes. So it's really good to learn the proper terminology of how to get in there. But there are specific businesses, like for example, hotels. You would think like, okay, how am I gonna market to hotels? But the employees, especially if you're a fee-for-service practice, housekeeping, they don't really, almost all housekeeping, they don't really provide them with insurance. Mm -hmm. So they're looking for, they're looking for like, oh, oh, this practice is going to give me a free exam or whatever. Yeah, let me get my whole family and everybody to come by because we need a dentist, right? Right. So if you were to, like, let's just say there's a Holiday Inn and a Hampton Inn and all these places near you, yeah, go be, talk to them and say, like, hey, you know what? We would like to provide your employees this. Is that okay? Can we set up during your team meeting? And we'll just give us five minutes to talk and be like, hey, anybody want to sign up or whatever? Just come on by, you know what I mean, for an incentive. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can get a bunch of people who – don't have insurance. Maybe some who do have insurance will sign up too. That's really good for housekeeping. And then like, for example, other locations like corporations, I know a lot of people want to get into like businesses. Like, hey, how do I get into like the Toyota Center or whatever, right? Right. So there's scripts for that too. But understand if it's like corporations, it's more of a long game. You have to build rapport and so forth. But if it's more like 
a dealership or an apartment complex or a Starbucks or whatever, right? Or daycare, senior homes. Those are more like you can get it in there on, on the spot pretty much. So um, I don't know. It depends really like what you're looking for, your target market and or your target client. And then from that point on, you kind of just decide to go. So I really wouldn't say there's like better business than others. Yeah. It would be just depending on where you want to get. I would just right. go everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like why not? Try so, yeah. uh, now, for the practices that you've worked with that have been successful with ground marketing, has there been like a common theme of just what they've done, you know, in regards to just engaging with their community to get new patients? Or is there a certain skill that they have or whatever the, it may be? <laughs> the ones I've seen that are exceptional, like exceptional, like by meaning like they're either attracting 40 plus just through ground marketing, new wow. patients, or they're either attracting maybe 10 to 15, but they're very targeted, like just um, full mouth reconstructions or just people who need Invisalign or, you know, they just yeah. go to cosmetic surgeons and that's it. Um, so obviously they make a lot. But uh, what we've seen is they have a specific ground marketer just for them. Like, that's it, right? Like, they really? hire somebody from Indeed.com who maybe was an event coordinator before, and that's it. They just hire them, and then from that point on, we coach them throughout the whole process. And then they're all, like I said, like they're that's only their That's their job. That's their yeah, job at the office is just ground marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So that's and that's good. But then eventually, like, you know, you give them more jobs. Like, okay, take over the Facebook and then take over the, yeah. you know, maybe the front office answer phones and things like that. So that's good. But I like it when it's like that because uh, I, I have a little tolerance for, like, excuses. <laughs> so, like, if, like, if you're the front desk and you're like, okay, Michael, I would have gone out to these events and I would have called uh, the leads, but, you know, I had to assist the doctor. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I'm like... Oh my gosh, that's like to me. I'm like that was an excuse. How do I? Can we give that to somebody else then? You know what I mean? Because yeah. like that, that's there. Like the business and the leads and everything is right there, and nobody's doing anything about it. But that's what I've seen. I've seen that, and then I've seen a lot of these ground marketers. Believe it or not, um, consistently where they get new patients, maybe like ten to fifteen. It's just gyms. They go set up at gyms, twenty four hour fitness or CrossFit studios, yeah. private, wherever. And then, yeah, they just continue to get new patients through that. And the gyms love it. They're, they're exclusive there now. Like, they're able to set up there once or twice a month. And you wouldn't really think it because people come in with their headphones, right? And then they just go work out, come out. But no, like, people actually, like, schedule. And they're like, yeah, we had a great time. Yeah. So anybody who has gyms out there, I would definitely <laughs> as many as you can just to check it out, you know? Yeah. Well, and especially, I mean, I, when you think about it, I think, gyms would be a good place to target because people who are going to the gym are people who want to look good, feel good, and have a little bit of that more mentality. And so obviously they want their smile to look great, you know, and have good oral, oral hygiene with that as well. So um, I could see how that would end up working out. But yeah, when, when you really have to sit there and think when you're starting to do ground marketing, I'm sure it can feel overwhelming at first because like you said, you can target anything and everything. And so... Mm -hmm. When you're looking at your town and how many businesses are in it alone and how many people live in it, I'm sure initially it could seem a little overwhelming. But once you actually sit down and really figure out what you want to target um, and kind of even do that trial and error, like you were saying, just because it doesn't work the first time doesn't mean it's never going to work. It might be just, hey, we need to, you know, take a little side street to get there, but we can still get there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like, for example, like one business that's like, oh, never lets us get in there is Target, right? <laughs> really? And Target is very strict on no, there's a lot of businesses where they say like no like they're very strict. Yeah. So the way I've kind of figured out a way and this is what I mean by long game. So the way I've kind of figured out a way and our ground marketers who like master this tactic down, they're like oh, they're brilliant. So it's called a stealth. And I'm going to share it with you guys. So like basically so you go into Target, right? You can go anytime. Like say you're the ground marketer, Vanessa, and it's yeah. 11 p.m. at night. Target's going to close like in an hour. You're in your PJs. You're like, okay. <laughs> you just go get like some chips, right, or whatever. You go in, and so you're passing, you know, you don't want to go to self-checkout. You want to go to this cashier. You see the cashier. You literally ask the cashier, like, hey, you know what? How's your shift coming along? Is it busy around this time or what? Don't just ask them, like, is your day going good? Yes. That's it? No, right? You want to ask them, like, is it busy around this time? How's everything coming along? Like, oh, yeah, you'd be surprised. People still come in around this time or whatever, right? Then 
you just say like, oh yeah, man, thankfully you guys are so close. I really needed this. You guys were like right next to my job. And they're inclined to say, oh really, where do you work? And then you're like, oh, I work just like right there, right down the, at that dental office right down the street. Three things can happen or a couple things can happen. They're gonna say, oh, I've passed by that office before I've seen it. Oh, okay, that's cool, that's it, right? Or they're gonna be like, oh, and then continue to say like something related, like, oh, what do you yeah. guys do there, right? So regardless, whatever they say, just create small talk after that. And then after that, once you create small talk, maybe they're done checking you out or whatever, all you really gotta say is like, you know, if you ever want, you can come by, I can always provide you, and then you offer an incentive, right? Like, say it super casual, like, hey, if you ever want Vanessa, like, I can always give you free whitening if that's, if you want that. Then they're gonna be like, yeah, really? That's so cool, okay, awesome. And then if they ask you, what's your information? Just say, I don't have any business cards on me right now, but just give me your name and number and I can personally give you a call to see when you wanna come on in. And then they rip a piece of the receipt out, they put their name and number. Dude, I've gotten, me and myself, like when I first started off, that's how I would get pay, new patients like to meet quotas, like on the spot. I'm like, oh man, I'm like tight. I need to get 60 today or something, right? So right. it would be like four patients off and I would just go really quick to go to stores and just that's exactly how I would get it, like at Ross or Marshalls. And yeah. Then, and then, yeah, people would just immediately, they're like, yeah, okay, cool. But notice how like you were more like friendly with them. You were right. more like, you know, if you ever want, I can give you guys some free wine. That's cool. And things like that. And then, yeah, you just get there. You get them. You, they become a lead from that point on, right? Yeah. And then you screen them over the phone. So a lot of dentists are always like, oh, we're giving out just free stuff like that. It's like, no, you're screening them through the phone. So once you call them, say, for example, you call them and then it's you, right, Vanessa? And I'm like, hey, congratulations on the free whitening. Um, I wanted to see when's the good time for you to come on and get that done. What questions or concerns do you have? Right. And you may have some questions, you may not have questions. Whatever it is, just respond accordingly. And then after that, I'm gonna say, okay, when was the last time you went to the dentist? And if you tell me, oh, I just went, or if you tell me, oh, I have a dentist already, I love them, right. I just went to whitening. I'm gonna tell you, okay, well, this month we're pretty booked, um, but if we do have a last minute cancellation, can I give you a call? You're, I'm, you're obviously gonna be like, yeah, it sounds good, and that's it. I don't have to worry about giving free whitening to you and you're never gonna come back. But if you tell me, oh, I haven't been to the dentist in a long time, or actually, you know what, I was wondering about this, or you wanted to know a second opinion or something like that, then I'm gonna say, oh, well, come on in. That's on me, don't even worry about it. I got you, yeah. let's get you as soon as possible. What, how does tomorrow look like? And then from that point on, but what's even better, if you're a dentist and you have local med, you can just easily schedule them like, <laughs> on the spot. Like Exactly. <laughs> So that's what our ground marketers are doing too. That, I mean, like that was without me. Like, oh wow, like, they're teaching me now. Like, I'm like, oh, wow, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, you can do that. So, I mean, there's so many. That's Target, for example, right? <laughs> like, there's so many ways around these things. That's what I mean. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, although Target doesn't know, like, we're not really there setting up a booth or anything, but we're talking to their employees and getting them to come in. And so, yeah, I mean. I mean, yes, I can go on and on about it. <laughs> yeah. Here. Well, and I think to me that was one of the um, more surprising things over their clients of how much they've used their local med service for their ground marketing aspect of it. Because it really does tie in. But um, initially with, you know, when we first put this product together, we were initially thinking more just everything digital in regards to, like, your Facebook, your websites, um, Google, all these different avenues where they can book from. Uh, but you kind of forget that how easy it is then to have an iPad, you know, at those events and just say, hey, I'll just book right here. And I've had a lot of clients that I've chatted with and they're just like, it's been fantastic because now when I show up to one of these events, I'm not just taking down their information and then trying to get a hold of them and then trying to book an appointment because a lot of times then you just lose them. Like it's so nice. I can actually leave that uh, event and have eight booked appointments ready to go. And it was a great experience for uh, not only for the new patient, but also for the staff, because now it's less follow-up work that they have to do to get that patient to even just book an appointment. Yeah, yeah. At, from that point on, all you have to do is really just call to confirm from that yeah, point on. Yeah, exactly. Um, maybe the day before their appointment or whatever. But another thing we've noticed is the people who do use uh, local med, for example, right? Mm -hmm. And this is not like because I'm talking to local med or anything. This is like, <laughs> no, no. You're like, good. You're good. We really use, is the ground marketers are so much more confident. I'm talking about like, like they, 
because a lot of the times, say I go to you, you're the ground marketer, and I'm yes. like, I, do you have Tuesday available? You're going to be like, I don't have the schedule from, I don't know. Um, let me call you to see if that's okay. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. You know what I mean? But if you're like, oh, yeah, let me check. No, we don't have Tuesday, but Wednesday is available. Is that fine? Or, yeah, we do have Tuesday available. Perfect. Boom. And But they use their phones, right? Mm -hmm. Or the dog uses his phones. Um, or the iPad if they're at the booth. But they're so much more confident. And, cause, and if you know, like, grand marketing is all about confidence, right? You can't just say hi to somebody. Hi. And then walking by, right? No. You have to go, hey, how's it going? How's everything cook? It's free if you want any of it, you know? Be, yeah. Be outgoing. No, you do. You have to be. They feel, it's almost like, uh, it's like power. Because, like, they walk to... Because a lot of the times it's not just booths. A lot of the times it's, okay, the ground marketer has to go into the business and literally get appointments and come back out. And so sometimes, you know, they're like, do I get the sign-up sheet? What do I do? But no, now they can just, so they feel much more confident. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's much more casual looking. It's not like, oh, a salesman's coming in there. It's more like, oh, it's just a guy with a coffee cup. What does he want? You know what I mean? Right. So that, that's what we've noticed. Like, they're a lot more confident. People who are using um, local men. Yeah, well, and I'm sure they also feel, too, you know, with that confidence, the fact that they now can leave and say, oh, I've now helped out these three people get an appointment with the office. Because now you actually know their booked appointment versus, okay, well, now I got their information. Now I'm going to get to the office and hope that they, you know, reach out to them and book an appointment. Hopefully they come in. And when you're engaging with these patients face-to-face, -face, you really are helping them. And you connect with them more face-to-face -face than if you were on the phone. And so... There's got to be that bit of a satisfaction feeling, too, of now you're not only helping the practice, which is what it was supposed to be initially, but you're really helping that patient be able to get the health care that they're needing. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's interesting. That's, that's what I like to tell, like, a lot of the people who, or everybody who works with us, or who becomes a ground marketer, like, through our programs. It's, it's not really, you're not there just to go out there and find people and get money and stuff. It's more like, hey, man. Orally, you can find out so many cancers. You can figure out so many diseases. Yeah. You're connecting that piece of the puzzle. Like, we need you to connect that piece of the puzzle. So as a ground marketer, like, your purpose is much more than just, oh, we got more new patients. Yeah, no, it's more like, hey, man, I just, I just helped save a life, right? right. I, I, just, I just connected you to that person, to a dentist, one of the most amazing dentists in the community. You need them because something, right? Um, orally, maybe they're diseased, maybe something hurts. They're taking care of them. So right. we're just finding a faster way to do that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for chatting with us. And if anyone wants to find out more about ground marketing, what you do, wants to chat with you, how do they find you? Um, you can definitely visit uh, thedentalmarketer.org. Go on there. You can join the Facebook group, Ground Marketing. Uh, or listen to the podcast, The Dental Marketer. That's the podcast. And... Um, yeah, that's about it, pretty much. Yeah, a lot of things going on. You just listed off like three things there. Yeah, I know. I actually, like, I don't, we're coming out with uh, by this week. Actually, when is this video going to go live? Uh, probably in like two weeks. Okay, so guys, we have the first <laughs> ever ground marketing course out there. So, in case you guys are like, interested, and then you'll find, well, you won't find ghosts, but you'll find local med on there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll offer you guys. Yeah, so you guys will definitely have to check out his course. Um, obviously, he gave you some tips here, but that's really where it's going to get you um, down to the, the nitty-gritty of how to really be successful at ground marketing because you really can. And by doing both digital and ground marketing, it can take your practice to whole new levels. Um, obviously, if you're wanting to find out more about Local Med, go to localmed.com forward slash dentist. Check out our Facebook um, you can check out Ghost. He's even on our company website now as an employee because... You're like, I'm not even on the company. Anymore. No, no, he's like the first one listed. Ghost is, <laughs> Ghost is cooler than everyone else here at Local Med. <laughs> Poor Ghost. I know. Everybody uh, else. But yeah, so thank you all for listening to this chapter of Ghost Stories, and we will see you in the next chapter of Ghost Stories. Thanks, Bye, Michael. Guys. Thanks, Ghost. <laughs>